Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to be sitting down and sharing with you my holiday gift guide for 2021 of all of the products and recommendations that I have for gifts for you and your loved ones. I know it's only November, but when it comes to shipping delays, it is not a bad idea to do some of your shopping a little bit early. This video is also sponsored by Squarespace, but I will tell you guys more about that at the end of this video. Without further ado, we're just gonna get right on into it. I've kind of split this into a bunch of different archetypes of people and hobbies that they may or may not enjoy. Most people will fall into like multiple categories, but this can be a fun way to kind of think about what sort of gifts you wanna give the people in your life. So gifts for the student or students in your life and also all of these products that I mentioned will be linked in the description box if that wasn't obvious. It's not too long ago that I was a student and one of the best gifts you can give a student is a gigantic hydro flask. I'm sure they already have one, but it's probably beat up and covered with stickers and they're pretty expensive, you know? It's still under 50 bucks, but it's not something they probably wanna buy themselves. Next up, I highly recommend any of the Bagu tech sleeves. I have one for my laptop. They also make them for iPads and for AirPods, but this is a great item to protect their stuff when they're on campus and it also just looks really cute. From the same company, Bagu reusable bags. Everyone loves them. They come in a ton of different patterns and colors as well as zodiac sign prints. So if you know what their zodiac sign, that is another way to kind of personalize it a little bit. A really cute notebook or 20 2022 planner. I am someone that used my daily planner every single day in college. I still have one and I still use it, but when I was in school, it was so necessary. So I definitely recommend the brand Papier. That's where mine is from. But you could also ask them if they have a specific one that they like and, you know, be nice and buy it for them for the holidays because that's something that they're going to use every day and think of you when they use it. And lastly, I wrote a Trader Joe's gift card or a gift card to any sort of like grocery or coffee place in their area. You could even do like maybe the coffee on campus or something that you know that is just a little bit of a weight off their shoulders that they don't have to buy it that week. You're taking care of it for them. I think that that is really sweet. Next up, we have gifts for the wellness type. You know these people, they go to yoga four times a week and they love the planet. A Vitruvi diffuser. These are beautiful stone diffusers that you just put a couple drops of essential oils in and they release it into the air. It is so relaxing. My sister and I got one for my mom last year and she uses it every single night. And now when there's like birthdays or holidays, we can just buy her sets of like her favorite essential oils or different essential oil blends. And it's just like a really great gift that does keep on giving. Now for some more wellness gifts that are under $50. Bala bangles. These are a very trendy ankle and hand weight that are just very very pleasing looking, but also effective. My mom has these, we got them for her before and she loves them. So anyone that likes to work out, if you want like a trendy kind of workout related gift, this is it. Pretty much anything from Moon Juice I think makes a great gift. They have some beautiful kind of like drink mixes that come in recyclable glass packaging and they have adaptogens in them. So you can make, you know, healthy lattes. And especially if you know that they already like matcha, like there's a matcha one, different things like that. I also really love giving and receiving kind of like eco-friendly, zero waste, goods so i definitely recommend reusable produce bags this is something i got as a gift and i use them every time i go to the farmer's market so if you know they already like going to the farmer's market this is something that they could really use to reduce plastic also stasher bags if you haven't used these before they are silicone reusable bags you can steam food in them you can freeze food in them you can use them for snacks they're the best. Lastly, this set from Youth to the People, it's called The Minimalist, and it just has everything you would need for a very simple everyday skincare routine. So this is a great gift for someone that maybe isn't into skincare or just needs somewhere to start, maybe a guy in your life. Um, all the products are recyclable, vegan, cruelty-free, all that stuff. Next up, we have gifts for the home chef in your life. And yes, this is my category if I had to pick one. Um, but my first idea was Brightland olive oil. You can get them a single of the classic olive oil. You can get them a little duo of olive oil and vinegar. I just 
I can't get enough. They are perfect for finishing salads, avocado toast. They just make everything feel more luxurious. This specific apron from Food52, it is super high quality. It has built-in pot holders in the bottom so you can take hot things out of the oven. It's just really well designed and it comes in a bunch of colors. It's really great for anyone that likes to cook. Moving on to under $50, I think a waffle hand towel is a great gift. I received one of these and it is just really absorbent while also looking really, really nice. So I think that is like strangely a great gift, especially paired with maybe some of these other items. Maybe this spoon rest that comes with a spoon as well. I actually own this. Uh, it's the spoon rest that I use. So thought I would plug it. I really like it. I think it's nice and minimal. And lastly, the Fly by Jing sauce trio, or even just one of their chili sauces. These are delicious chili sauces that are perfect for dipping dumplings or just topping your dish with, adding to soups and ramens. They are amazing. And this little trio, I think specifically, would make for a great present. Next up is gifts for the host or hostess in your life. And once again, we're gonna start out with the more expensive items. My first gift idea is a Marshall speaker. And these can really range in price depending what size you get. Personally, I have the largest size, which I will picture here, and I love it. It was gifted to me by the brand, so I really went in with no expectations, and it has blown me away. It is gorgeous, the sound quality is amazing, and it also just looks beautiful in my home so I think this would be a great gift for someone that likes to host or loves music. Another idea for someone that likes to host is the Aesop hand wash and lotion duo. This is perfect for putting in the bathroom or next to the kitchen sink and it just elevates that experience so much and it's something that I would pretty much never buy myself so I feel like receiving that as a gift would feel quite nice and of course it smells amazing. Under $50 you can really never go wrong with a candle. I'm gonna link the candle that I have behind me because they're actually poured in my hometown. So I would love to support them. And they also sell a wick trimmer, which is basically something you use to trim the wick before you light it. And I think giving someone a candle and a wick trimmer is a really nice way to kind of elevate just giving a candle. It makes it into more of an experience. A cheese board or charcuterie platter is always a great gift. And I really love these from Goodies LA because they are all around like $25. I actually have one and I love it. And their whole site actually has a ton of great home goods that are under about $20, like some serving utensils and other things that just kind of like complete the serving experience. And lastly, I think a pitcher is kind of an underrated gift because it can be both a vase and a serving vessel. So you can use it many ways, whether you are entertaining or not. One of my favorite vases is actually just a glass pitcher. So I will link some below that I think are gorgeous. Gifts for the workaholic or someone that you know that really needs to relax or deserves a vacation. This is a jaw specific jade roller from Mount Lai. And this is for breaking up the tension that you get in your jaw when you are, you know, stressed and tense. So it's less of a skincare tool and more of like a de-stressing tool. So I think this could really be a perfect gift for anyone. Topical CBD bombs or CBD bath salts, anything in that kind of realm, I think is perfect for someone that needs to relax. I also saw this Moon Juice Stress Busters set, which is a combination of their Super U stress supplements, which are just like very natural supplements that help alleviate stress symptoms, as well as one of their really thick moisturizers. And of course, a massage or facial gift card are always the absolute best to receive. In LA, I love Hey Day for facials and the Now for massages. And then for some ideas under $50, I definitely recommend the Feels CBD oil. And I believe with their current promotion going on, your first trial size is about $20. Also, a hand cream is a great gift for someone that works at a desk all day because they can bring it with them. And lastly, a to-go mug. This is my personal favorite to-go mug. I know that's like kind of random and uh, you can just find it on Amazon, but I just really like how sleek it is and it keeps it insulated very nice for, you know, a full commute. Next up, we have gifts for the homebody 
My first gift idea was a waffle bathrobe. I have been seeing them all over the place and just who wouldn't love to own one? So this is one from Brooklinen. I believe Parachute Home also has one. I'm sure you can find cheaper ones as well, but this is just what came to mind immediately. I also am a huge fan of Barefoot Dreams blankets, which are these ridiculously soft, hundred dollar blankets and you can actually get them for a little bit cheaper on Nordstrom Rack. So I'll see if any are on sale and link that below, but I received one as a gift from my mom at least two years ago and it still is one of my favorite things to curl up on the couch with. Under $50, you can get Barefoot Dream socks. So I will also have those linked down below. If you know that this person has a bath or likes taking baths, there are so many different bath products. These little bath fizzies are from Way, but there also is a set right now on Glossier as well. So that is always like a really nice treat yourself kind of gift. But if they do not have a shower, I highly recommend the Body Ritual set from Necessaire. These are really high quality body wash, exfoliator, and lotions that are vegan, cruelty free, and packaged really nicely as well. Gifts for the outdoorsy person. And if you couldn't tell, I am not the most outdoorsy person. So this is really me giving it my best shot, but I've given these to people in the past and they were a success. So hopefully that, you know, helps. A hand made picnic blanket from Nipomo. These are some of my favorites. I have two now. They come in a bunch of different colors and they're perfect for picnicking or taking to the beach, going camping. You can really bring it wherever you want. It even comes with a little carry strap. Last year, my sister asked for one of these cute coolers that are perfect for camping or taking to the beach with you. Next up, I stumbled upon this gorgeous coffee table book that is full of photos from the national parks. So if if your outdoorsy person lives in the US and frequents national parks, this I think would be a really beautiful gift that is kind of commemorative. They could like keep it in their home and it brings some of their personality indoors as well. It's from Parks Project and they have a ton of really great national parks related products from different park themed candles to t-shirts and it's all really well designed. So that's somewhere that I've been getting gifts for a pretty long time now and definitely will continue to. Next up, we have gifts for the creatives in your life or the people that just like things a little bit more eclectic. Slowdown Studio makes these absolutely beautiful funky blankets with different illustrations. I think these would be a great gift if you were looking to spend a little bit more. Coffee table books I think are always a great gift because not only are they decorative but you also can read them so you can get them on really interesting subjects or artists that you know that they love and lately I've been buying mine on thrift books and the real real because you can find them for second hand in perfect condition, so would recommend. I was watching Lainey Ozark and she recommended buying a film camera for someone as a Christmas gift and I think that that is a great idea. I love my film camera, so if you know someone that takes a lot of disposables and is always buying them, getting a point and shoot film camera is a great way to save a lot of money and time and, you know, still produce some awesome photos and memories. And lastly, Etsy. Etsy is the place to go if you want to find something super unique and one of a kind. There is a ton of handmade ceramics on there and I am such a sucker for ceramics. So I will link some below that I found, but I also found like this really cool mirror and you can also get art commissioned on Etsy. So like maybe get a portrait of your friend's pet or of you guys together. That is always like such a heartwarming gift. And of course you are supporting an artist directly that way. And now to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to create a beautiful online presence and also run your business. I have been using Squarespace to run my website for years now and I just love how easy they make the entire process. They have thousands of beautiful templates to choose from and they are all customizable to you and your needs and whatever your personal style tastes are. You can even get custom domains through Squarespace. So I have lindsayrem.com and that whole process was just so much easier than I thought it was going to be. 
They also have amazing blogging features. So if you're interested in starting a blog, you can cultivate a community within your website because their blogging feature allows for replies and likes and threaded comments. I also love on the back end that you can draft, categorize, and schedule your blog posts to go live because that is something that is really helpful when it comes to planning content. That is exactly what I do here with my vlogs. They just really get it. Squarespace also has powerful analytics tools so you can get to know the viewers that are visiting your site. You can learn more about your page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and things that really help when it comes to creating content. If you're interested in checking out Squarespace, I highly recommend them. And I do have a discount code. All you have to do is go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That is it for my holiday gift guide. All of the products will be linked in the description box. So be sure to check them out and I will see you guys with some new content very soon. Bye.